some. Charlie, do you have a Tucker report for us? No, I know. Hopefully, I got a call. Mm -hmm. I did too. You're growing. I can tell better. I've got to stand up. <laughs> Need oxygen, Charlie? <laughs> this is a very, very special NAC report. And my part of it is going to be very short. I just want to remind you that the annual NACRA meeting for 2013 will be hosted by the Estates of Carpenters 4th, 5th, and 6th of April 2013. We would like to see all of you attend as many of those sessions as you can you will be amazed at the amount of work that's going on throughout the country on your behalf at this time. Now we have two very special guests with us. They've been here for two days now, and they've been laying the foundation for the best annual meeting that NACRA has ever had. The first person will, is our president, Ms. Ruth Walsh. Ruth lives in a community in Mystic, Connecticut, and you would think that hurricanes do damage in Florida, not Connecticut. But for the second hurricane in a row, her community was without power for seven or more days. So you see these hurricanes are far-reaching all over the country. Now, it's a distinct pleasure for me to present to you our president who has done an outstanding job in moving NACRA to a new level. Please join me in welcoming Ms. Ruth Walsh to our meeting. You're not going to hug me? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> I think, can you all hear? Yes. Right? Yeah. I am just so delighted to be here with you all. I left home in the worst rainstorm in the history of Connecticut, other than the hurricane we had about three weeks before. And uh, so we have had our share of hurricanes, of no power, and living with uh, the emergency generators and the things and kindnesses of our community. And it's, you know, as tough as it was, it has been such a delight to see everybody working so beautifully together, and somehow or other we weathered the storm. So, but we're done now. No more snowstorms, no more anything. And then, of course, and I appreciated the prayer from the chaplain because Connecticut and all of in the United States were just impacted by that horrific uh, massacre that occurred last week. And uh, it just, I couldn't, you couldn't fathom that, that precious town, and I'm sure you saw the town from the TV stream. It's, it's a dear town that no, nothing like this should ever happen. And uh, so we've all, all grieved very, very much, and those precious children, I know they're in the Lord's hands. But here we were coming, Jack and I, Jack from California, and, and I from Connecticut, uh, to plan with Charlie and the rest of many, many people here what we're going to be doing in April at our annual meeting. And uh, we're just looking forward. This is such an excellent community, and you all are so gracious and so kind, and uh, just the wonderful smiles. I really do appreciate all of that. But we are, as Charlie said, going to meet on Thursday, the 4th of April, Friday, and Saturday, and then we will all depart. But in the process, we are designing a meeting that we hope and we know is going to be informative, it's going to be educational, and it's going to energize every single one of us. Because, and we're going to have a lot of fun in the process. So just, just sit, circle those dates and do join us for our wonderful meeting. Some of it's going to happen here, and we've just selected all throughout the, the community so that we're, everybody who is a visitor can take a chance to see how excellent this facility is. 
Uh, we know that, that we're going to press a lot of you all into service. So hang, you have, just hang on because you know if this is going to happen because everybody has worked together. And uh, we had such a great meeting with Charlie and with Brian this morning and poor Bob Smith ended up going to the doctor so he is very ill. But we're going to pray for him that he gets well and so we can be planning and working together to make this a very excellent meeting. Uh, one of the things I wanted to share with you is that at, that at the meeting that we have, we're going to kind of present, we've been working on a new strategic plan for NACRA. As Charlie said, we're trying to move up to a new level, the next level. So we have a new mission statement, we have a new uh, vision statement, and we're working on goals and objectives to be able to meet those, those things so that each one of us will be uh, really energized, I hope, with the goal. So the new mission statement that you will soon see is that the NACRA collaborates nationwide with residents of continuing care residents associations for the purpose of promoting, protecting, and improving our chosen lifestyle. So the, it's not significantly different from the one before, but we just felt it was important to, to do this one and then the vision is that we aspire to be a respected advocate and resource providing valued services, education, and benefits to a growing and diversified population of CCR residents throughout the United States. And you know we're going to very soon, if we haven't already, receive many of the new baby boomers who are going to be coming into CCRC. So that's going to be a whole new ball game and a very exciting, different thing, I don't know, how it's going to all work out, but we're going to have a good, a good time in the process. But that is a, and NACRA is also a very valued educational tool, and Jack Cumming is going to spoke, speak to us in a moment about all that's available to us through, through NACRA U. And if you've never heard of it, you're going to hear it. It's really a superb website and all kinds of good things happening. There is more, for NACRA stands with residents national legislatures, providers, and others who contribute and who choose to have this the best lifestyle for residents. So please plan to attend and join us in a, in a good several days. Our ultimate goal for NACRA is to be an organization with clarity of purpose and leadership toward the challenges of the tomorrows that are to come. We live each day at a time, and I know you know that, but we have to plan ahead, and uh, so this is one of the exciting parts of my job, and I so appreciate it. And the other, I'd love to just go to the different communities because we're all alike, and yet we're all so different in our, in our how we operate and our diversity. So I guess it's a, it's very been a real interesting, wonderful tool for me, and to meet so many wonderful people and to see your smiles is worth a million dollars, and I really thank you. I know you know that we're very involved and with, at the Carpenter Residence Council and it, we are going to be pressing you for a lot of help as we go along. We invite you and your membership also to, I know you know this because Charlie posts it outside but, and the bulletin board, but this is our, our bi-monthly newsletter and, and uh, Marlene Varner, who was a resident here at Carpenters, is the editor-in-chief, and I'll tell you, she is doing a phenomenal job. And uh, on the back of the newsletter is a, an application for people to join NACRA, and uh, you, the individual membership is 15, life membership is 150, and we have several people who joined last uh, two years ago when I, we were here to, to become members. So I just happen to have a few, a few membership applications that I'm going to put out here so that you can, even an address, the envelope, so all you got to do is just stick a stamp on there and you can send it. Or Charlie, what was your, your offer? You said if people would... Just give it to me with a check and I'll fill out the application form. So it's, it's going to be easy for you to do. And that we really appreciate not only your your uh, contribution of yourselves as we go along here, but through also through your your monetary donation to NACRA. We are a 501c3, so at this point, while things before things change, you can still use, use us as a tax deductible de donation. 
So thank you ever so much. And I'm going to turn this over to Jack, who's going to talk. No, don't turn it over. Oh, all right.